to YouTube, it's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you with another video. Hey, look, before we jump into today's topic, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Especially like the videos, get it pushed out to a wider audience. Those of you who have been doing, hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Now, what we need is a little bit more people in the comments. That's it. And then we'll be well on our way with this channel. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all uh, watching this video, checking me out. All right, so let's get into it. So, um, something that happened last year, obviously, was the slew of injury to the Baltimore Ravens. Like, literally a historic amount of injuries last year for the Baltimore Ravens. So, the question is, freak accident or training regimen? Which one is it? Um, I think I tend to lean on freak accident and just bad luck. I mean, the ultimate kind of bad luck. But the Ravens aren't leaving that up to chance. So apparently they've kind of changed the offseason program and their training regimens this offseason. All right. And this is coming straight from Mark Andrews. Uh, I got this article. Um, I'm reading this from an article from Ravens Wired where Mark Andrews talks about the difference between, so far at least, uh, last offseason and this one. So I think they're making an effort to do certain things. Make extra warm up, stretch more, just schedule throughout the day. They're just being mindful of how we're feeling, where we're at in the year. There's a long season ahead. There's a long year ahead. It's not a race. It's a marathon. So I think they're doing a great job of being mindful of that, which is awesome to see. Now, while I like the comment, it kind of feels like a double-edged sword. Because it's like, why do we have to go through these kind of injuries for you guys to really put an extra emphasis on extra warm-ups, make sure the players are loose and stretching properly, and um, being mindful of where their bodies are, ask them how they feel, ask them how they're going through. It kind of, um, it seems like a, a coaching misstep almost in a way. And that's that's got to fall on Harbaugh because he's he's over the entire thing. So whatever the strength and conditioning coach is doing, whatever the head athletic trainer is doing, Harbaugh has to be aware of that. So for guys, so for a guy like Andrews, kind of feel like that this year they're making a big, a big change as far as they're really incorporating how we feel into how much work we do. Um, it wasn't the greatest thing to hear, but it's but it's brutal honesty, and that's good because brutal honesty can lead to change. So with the Ravens changing this year, changing the offensive program, now it could mean everything. It could mean nothing. At the same time. So it could mean everything. It could mean the Ravens are the healthiest they've been in a long time. We get through the uh, season almost injury-free. Obviously, there will be injuries along the way. It's football on a completely unavoidable. It's a contact sport. It could mean nothing. The Ravens could still have injuries, you know. Knock on wood. That's the wood table right here in front of me, all right? Knock on wood. You know, we, we don't want to see that. So, but I, I will say this. I'm not going to be completely negative about it. It's good to hear that the players have more input, more of a voice in how they're being trained and um, that because this is their body. Their body is how they make their money. All right. If, if Mike Andrews can't deliver the same way because hamstring is tight, legs not feeling well, arms not feeling good, then he's not going to be the same player. But if he feels as though the Ravens are making a more concerted effort. To make they get the, to make sure he's at his maximum level, top level, Mark Andrews, and it's just goals for any player. But I'm using Mark as an example. Then that means we are getting the best results for the Baltimore Ravens, in my opinion, right? So with this article, I just thought it was interesting to hear that the Ravens have taken a real look at what happened last year and saying we're not leaving this up to chance. We're going to make a concerted effort to really change the way we do things and um, actually put that plan in place. So if that means we warm up longer, if that means we stretch longer, I'm sure the guys are probably incorporating some yoga and things like that to really get the guys loose and in that zone. So he said, it's not a race, it's a marathon, right? So that's that's good to hear because that means that they're taking the time to really take it step by step, day by day, and see where guys are at at each juncture. So I think that's important. So the Ravens are doing a good job of that. They're being mindful, and he said that this is awesome to see. So, the NFL is becoming, I would say, more like the NBA in this way with player empowerment. The players now feel like their voice is being heard, that they have a real voice in saying what goes on. And this is a good thing. So, Mike Andrews feels comfortable enough to say this out loud and say that, hey, we, we did some things last year that probably wasn't the best. But 
We were mindful of it. We changed it. And now we're on to a new start. So I'm hoping that this leads to a, uh, a healthy year for the Baltimore Ravens, a better year for the Baltimore Ravens, and that these guys are actually, um, you know, more well prepared physically, emotionally, and everything for that. I mean, because like Mark Andrew says, a long season ahead, man. Um, anyway, uh, I'll probably have an OTA update coming out in the next day or two. Um, apparently, guys like Nick Baller back, Marcus Williams is in the building, Jalen Ferguson is there. Um, Lamar Jackson is still not there. Uh, not to my surprise. It shouldn't should be a email surprise. But this video is about the Ravens offseason off regimen changing. So uh, I just wanted to get an update about what Mark Andrews said about it. And uh, give me your thoughts on it. Do you think that this change in the offseason will have an impact on our season and on the injury list? Or do you think it's something that, while it's good to hear, might not do much for the team? Anyway, it's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.